proof Jesus was a sinner, here violent, destructive and angry. Imagine this scene. A man visits Canterbury Cathedral. Inside he notices there's a shop. He watches the staff selling and the visitors buying gifts, books and souvenirs. He is angry that inside a place of worship a shop is trading. He takes off his belt and charges into the shop, roaring at the customers to leave, cracking his belt around him, smashing the merchandise, sweeping the books off the shelves, pushing over the till, sending cash flying over the floor, tipping up the tables and stands. Police arrest the man and he's charged with assault and criminal damage. The media describe a thug who went berserk, desecrating a holy place and is now in police custody. Yet this is exactly what Jesus did. It's read without a ripple of shock in churches across the world. Christians have become so indoctrinated that they have lost touch with the real Jesus. John 2, 14, Jesus saw men selling livestock in the temple courtyard and exchanging money. He was angry and made a whip out of cords and he drove them all out, throwing over their tables and striking their piles of money, scattering them all over the ground. Get out of here! How dare you turn God's house into a market, he said. Jesus was a sinner, like you and I. He was passionate, felt things deeply, lost his temper and acted at times mistakenly. To claim otherwise is dishonest and makes Christians appear brainwashed. It makes Jesus not an exemplar, but a fantasy projection of people's infantile need for a superhero, a timeless mythical redeemer with magical powers, the stuff of dreams and Hollywood films, but of no use for our everyday lives. In fact, Jesus was just like us except an exemplary version of what a human being can be at best, who managed his strengths and weaknesses, his sins and his virtues in an admirable way that helps shake us out of our complacency and challenges our pretense and prevarication.